Empty backfield. Out of the gun for Palmer. Palmer in some trouble. Floats it upstairs. And it's caught by Ocho Cinco. They dealt with the rush coming. 11 yards. Palmer handled the pressure to Ocho Cinco. And they want to get after Carson Palmer. They want to get him off the spot. They don't want him to get comfortable. He's a very streaky player, but he does a nice job sitting in there, waiting on Chad Ocho Cinco right here on the little in route. Good accuracy, good poise by Carson Palmer. And the pressure came from the combination of Matthews and Jenkins for Green Bay. Another Cincinnati first down. Driving in Green Bay territory. Give is to Benson. And Benson, great cut by Benson. Brought down in. Cincinnati Bengals have the football at the 17-yard line to open this drive. Palmer picked off, intercepted by Woodson. Charles Woodson still on his feet and finally brought down. Ocho Cinco, intended receiver. Well, he gets beat with the blitz right here. Watch the pressure, it's gonna come right here. The safety stems down, and what happens is he tries to throw right into the heart of the blitz. He tries to throw a back shoulder throw, and Charles Woodson ain't buying. He's sitting right there underneath it, waiting for it, knowing that he has help over the top. Just a poor decision by a veteran quarterback like Carson Palmer. And a five-time pro bowler who had seven interceptions last season comes up with the pick. The Packers take over. P7 had a 295 million dollar renovation in 2003. Start of the second quarter, and the Packers with a 14 to 7 lead over Cincinnati. Bengals though have the ball near midfield and a penalty marker to start out this second quarter. False start, offense number 85, five yard penalty. That's first down. Now the fans are going to react to that. It's Ocho Cinco called on the false start. And, and that's unacceptable. You know, they had penalties, three of them last week that nullified first downs. He had two of them. And you just don't expect that from a veteran player like Chad Ocho Cinco. Now Ocho Cinco this week talking about doing a, a Lambo leap. Wants the fans to accept him. It's not going to happen here. No, I don't, I don't see it happening here. Got to score a touchdown I'm first. I'm talking in terms of the acceptance part. Oh, the touchdown may happen here. Boy, Chad Ocho Cinco has been very quiet so far here today. One catch, 11 yards. That's it for 85. And you know, when you talk about doing the Lambeau leap, you bring a lot of attention to yourself. And these two corners. Offense. Five yard penalty. It's third down. Boy, just another mistake offensively. But when you when you bring attention to yourself, particularly in an environment like this in Green Bay, particularly. When you're going up against Al Harris, who's a 12-year veteran, and Charles Woodson, who's a 12-year veteran, perennial Pro Bowl players, you're asking for a difficult day. These guys have taken it upon themselves to shut down Chad Ochocinco. They got a breather. And Palmer now 7 of 11, 85 yards. He's got the two picks. A fleet flicker. Little trickery. Palmer throwing. And caught by Ochocinco. Curls it upfield. And finally brought down inside the 15. Bush and Rouse. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 31. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Al Harris called on the penalty. The 2007 Pro Bowler with the hit on the quarterback. Ocho Cinco, he gets involved, Rich. I'll tell you what, this is great anticipation by Carson Palmer. You just watch here, they run the flea flicker. They're gonna fool the defense. But watch, he throws this ball so early, he's not even out of his break yet. Just great anticipation by Carson Palmer. So they place the football at the five after the penalty. Johnson in front of Benson in the backfield. Bengals looking to tie this one up. Palmer on a handoff. Benson busting it to the outside. Benson ups as a team so far for the Bengals. You talk about that magic number, getting over 100. This team 0-10-1 since the beginning of 08 when rushing for less than 100 yards. Pump fake, Palmer throwing, deep ball, sideline, and it's incomplete. Ocho Cinco intended receiver, and a flag thrown at midfield. Matched up with Tremont Williams out on the perimeter. Penalty's a big part of the storyline so far. Ten against Cincinnati, seven against Green Before Bay. Before the pass was thrown, 
illegal contact, defense number 38. That five-yard penalty is an automatic first down. And it is the nickelback, Tremont Williams, now in his third year from Louisiana Tech. And this is just a good job, good recognition by Carson Palmer. He's got his best receiver against the Packers' third corner in Tremont Williams. You're looking at the numbers. Ocho Cinco has not gone over 100 yards receiving in a game since December 30th, 2007. Put up 131 with two touchdowns against Miami. Obviously, last year, Palmer was just not in there enough to help Ocho Cinco in the passing game. Give his to Benson. And Cedric Benson cutting into the outside. Charles Woodson again in run support. It's a four-yard pickup for Benson. Now in his fifth year from Texas, Third and two, Brian Leonard comes on. It's a four-receiver set, so they'll spread the field out near the 50. Well, you have to track these safeties. Palmer looking, throws, knocked away. Ocho Cinco intended target on the slant. Tremont Williams making the play defensively for Green Bay, and the Bengals are forced to punt. Boy, isn't that interesting? They went right back after the same matchup, Ocho Cinco on Tremont Williams. Tremont Williams does a much better job, though, jumping back inside. A better throw there might get it done. On those slant throws, you can't hit him on the back number. you got to get it in front of him. 40 snaps last week. On this drive, five rushes, two passes. Benson has been terrific all day. Play fake. Palmer looking. Deep ball. And nobody home. Miscommunication. Ocho Cinco zigged when he should have zagged. Or Palmer and Ocho Cinco just weren't on the same page. Yeah, you're going to see, you're going to see Chad right down. He's going to actually work to the post. And what happens is the ball comes out here to the boundary. So obviously Carson Palmer think, thought he was running a go route. Chad decided to go to the post. Certainly some confusion there doesn't get it done. Right now the Bengals are looking at a 53-yard field goal attempt. Ocho Cinco with two catches covering 55 yards. This crowd is fired up. On a third and 12. Palmer throwing under pressure and complete. Ocho Cinco. Brought down inside the 15. Campman supplied the pressure on Palmer. Ocho Cinco's teammates will get him out of there after the 23-yard hookup. Well, they're excited about Chad Ocho Cinco. He's committed against, committed again. He's excited. He's having fun. And what did Carson tell us last night? He's much better after the catch. He's back. And he said he's here now. Last year, he was somewhere else, mentally. That's what Palmer told us. He's third and 11. Shotgun Palmer throwing. Hauled in. Ocho Cinco. Touchdown. Cincinnati with the score. On a scrimmage. You got a seven point lead. You got to be smart in this situation. You got to see throws. No sacks, no turnovers, and no negative plays. Palmer to throw, looking for the deep ball down the sideline, and it's broken up. Chris Henry against Al Harris. Cincinnati was looking for the knockout punch. Boy, I like that. I like taking a shot on first down. Good job holding the safety. Now you got to give him a chance to make a play on the boundary. Just good coverage by Al Harris. Little bit of pushing and shoving as they jostle Henry and Harris. Henry heads to the bench area, and it's second and ten. Clock stops with 7.52 remaining.